Welcome. In this video, we're going to set up the fairway theme. As you can see right now, I'm starting out with the default 2010. I'm just going to get under appearance and go to themes. And go ahead and click the theme and activate it. Let's take a look at the front end. So as you can see, um, this navigation right here is kind of screwed up. Um, this area right here is coming from a plugin that's uh, the featured content slider, and it will come zipped up with this uh, with the thing. So that's uh, that's going to rotate right there. Um, this area right here is widgetized. I'll get to that. So let's just kind of um, make our way down from the upper left on down the page and set this theme up. So first, let's upload a logo. So inside of the admin, I'm going to go under theme options. And then where it says custom logo, click upload image. And I'll just go ahead and find... And here's the logo. And you can upload a custom uh, favicon. And if you have uh, Google Analytics tracking code, you can pop that in here. Let's go ahead and save all changes. Take a look. And so there we are. We've got the favicon um, applied, and then here's the logo. Next, let's take a look at this phone number. So inside of the uh, theme options, you have a tab for contact info. Here's the phone number. Down here in the bottom, you'll see that there's address, and that's being pulled from right here. So the next thing we're going to do is set the menus up right here. I've already created pages for about, blog, contact us, and pricing, and sample page. So we're going to go under menus. First thing we're going to have to do is create a menu. Let's name it primary menu and click create menu now we can um, under theme locations hit the drop down under primary menu and select primary menu and click save after that you can go ahead and select all of the pages that you want to display so home about blog contact us and pricing add to menu you can change the casing just simply the drop down select and you can make it lowercase I named all of these uh, links with the capital first letter so and this one only is supposed to say contact and pricing and you can also change the order so it should say home pricing about blog contact home um, pricing about blog contact now let's go ahead and save so now when we refresh you see that those links are updated um, I'm going to skip over the slider for right now and let's jump down to these uh, three blocks for the home page. So under appearance I'm going to go to theme options and on the second tab you've got content options. Select the category for home blocks. I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm going to select prices. Save all changes. Let's refresh and there they are if we wanted to change to a different category for example featured product there's only one item in there so only one block is going to show there you are let's change back to prices the category for the home content area that's this area right here the brown so I'm you it functions the exactly the same way 
simply hit the drop down select the category for that post it's going to pull the one most recent post from the set category let's come over and refresh and here you see that content display we can change it once again let's do um, let's do uh, uncategorized and refresh and so you see that updates this form area right here is coming from a widget so under appearance go to widgets and you'll see um, a widget area for home web to lead and you'll see that there is currently code inside of the the text widget I'm going to take that out of there I'll just paste it here in this notepad for now and I'm going to get the code from my website so let's hit that copy this and I'll paste this in here and save it's probably not going to look very nice because it's not styled for that area but just to give you an example so you see that form code is updated there I've got far more form fields on mine so and I'll just replace that with the old code save refresh and there it is these social icons down here the links for them are in the theme options you'll go to the social options tab and simply put the link to your Facebook LinkedIn Twitter and the link for the music icon in this footer area these three are widgets so we'll come back under appearance and go to widgets and right here you see the widget area for footer blocks area and you see there's three widgets here so for example I can drag and drop this down here and now that search bar that's right there when I refresh you can see it's over here so you just order these in the order that you want them moving forward the pricing page so this page and come in let's go to all pages pricing see the pricing template um, uh, so the, the page that you set for pricing you must use the pricing template under theme options content options you'll see where we've got the uh, select the category for three blocks on the pricing page so we hit the drop down I'll select the prices category save all changes now when I refresh those are here notice that there are list items right here so this is on prices three I'm going to edit prices two so we'll go under all posts prices two and there is a under um, add custom field hit the drop down and select features and you can add as many features as you want so I can hit the drop down select features again add custom field so now when we come over and refresh you see those applied down here the same thing for the price so you see this is 123 slash month I'll come on come over we select the price custom field and I'll say and now we refresh and you see that value added when you click learn more you're taken to that single post
let's go to the about page on the about page you see that we have a banner up here all of your pages go to our pages let's go to about and you'll see the uh, custom header custom key um, you'll simply upload an image So let's say I want to add this one. So that now it says hurrah. I can simply replace this one or I can delete it. Hit the drop down, select custom header, add the URL, add custom field, Repla refresh. And you see that's been updated. We can also make this area right here use the clipboard. So under template, I'll hit the drop down and select uh, blog page clipboard. And when we refresh, and you see that info, you see that content display here. In terms of the sidebar, it's widgetized, widgets sidebar so we can drop anything we want over here I'll just drop the meta we refresh and here you see it added to the sidebar and let's go ahead and remove that template and you see that page is now back for your blog you're going to have to come in and set the uh, category that you want um, your blog to display from. So you'll come under content options. Select the category for blog page. Save all changes. Refresh. And there you have it. You see that there's a featured image for these posts. So I'll go ahead and edit blog too. that featured image is set right here I'll go ahead and remove it set featured image select the file so I'll just and you'll click the use this featured image link and then you'll see that image apply over there update and now you'll see that replace on block 2 when you go into that single post page, you see that that um, feature thumbnail continues to show right here. <clears throat> the um, as for the slider right here, you can make any post or page a slider. I'll just go ahead and add new. I'll just grab some lower ISPM. And I'll go ahead and upload a featured image. use this featured image you see it show up over there and we're going to check the feature and featured content slider link and let's go ahead and publish and now when we refresh you see that added right here
all of your settings for the slider can be found under featured content slider and you can make it fade you can change the background color and all of that text color image width and height etc thank you for watching have a great day